simple things that'll have a really big impact on how the outside of your house looks. And think about it, when you drive up each day, you can say, yeah, I did that. Hey, thanks so much for being with me and Chelsea here on today's Homeowner. Come see us again next week. Yeah, there we go. Come on, come on, there we go. Oh! I thought you were holding it. I didn't know I was holding it. We'll get it better the next time. <laughs> These kids, I'll tell you. Get ready to celebrate our nation's founding with stylish and sustainable American-made brands. Monday on the KTLA 5 Morning News at 11 a.m. California, on the brink of a new political dawn. For the first time in 30 years, a wide-open race for the U.S. Senate. Dianne Feinstein says she will not seek re-election in 2024. As pressure mounts across the state, with Californians struggling to pay their bills. We don't know how high these prices are going to go. Worried about homelessness. There is no question that homelessness is a crisis in every community. Desperate to find affordable housing. Housing is a human right. And scared for their safety. I can't say strongly enough how many of our children are killed. They're just wiping out a generation. People across California are looking for leadership. So Inside California Politics went one-on-one -on -one with three of the leading candidates. Burbank Congressman Adam Schiff, who gained national prompt... Congresswoman... These candidates make their case to the people of California as you decide who should fill California's Senate seat. Broadcasting across the Golden State, this is Inside California Politics. Thanks for joining us for this special edition of Inside California Politics, the race for the Senate. I'm Frank Buckley. And I'm Nikki Lorenzo. We're on the verge of a momentous change here in California. For the first time since 1992, someone other than Dianne Feinstein will represent the state in the United States Senate. Senator Feinstein is a political icon within the state. At one time, she chaired the powerful appropriations and intelligence committees. But in recent years, health issues have led to questions surrounding her fitness to serve. Ultimately, she decided to retire earlier this year after her term ends. We'll introduce you to the top three candidates, according to our new exclusive polling, who are running to replace Senator Feinstein. They are Democratic congressional members Katie Porter from Irvine, Adam Schiff from Burbank, and Barbara Lee from Oakland. Our Inside California Politics Emerson College poll revealed in June the three were the current favorites among California voters. That poll suggests that Schiff and Porter are in a statistical tie at the top. Schiff is at 14.5 percent, Porter at 14.2 percent. Barbara Lee is in third in the race with just about six percent of respondents choosing her. The big story out of that poll, nearly half of respondents remain undecided on who they plan to vote for. Frank and I conducted interviews with all three of these candidates across California discussing some of the most pressing issues facing our state. We begin with Orange County Congresswoman Katie Porter. The Irvine progressive is seen as a rising star within the Democratic Party after having come in with the blue wave of congressional Democrats in 2018. Porter was also the first prominent Democrat to enter the race, making her announcement before Senator Dianne Feinstein announced her retirement. Recently, I met up with her at a park in Los Angeles County as she was in between campaign stops to discuss her campaign and where she stands on key issues facing Californians. Here's my conversation with Congresswoman Katie Porter. You're known for your very direct whiteboard questioning of corporate executives uh, and others in power. Those moments have often gone viral. What do you say to critics who say these are just attention-seeking performances, that they don't result in legislation or change? Is there legislation that you have sponsored that has passed, that has changed the lives of your constituents? What are you most proud of when it comes to your legislative accomplishment? Let me give you an example of a whiteboard moment that I think was tremendous tremendously helpful to millions and millions of Americans. When I questioned the director of the Centers for Disease Control, 